What was the last topic? What was the last thing mentioned? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. 
kaya na comment sa mga si Darius. Di type up parents and it's hard. Hindi pa. Di type up parents. Yung di type up parents sa tapan ni live. So what was the last yeah, subject? What was the last subject matter we we left off that we said we will continue with this week? <laughs> so good evening, one and all. So good evening, Shamika. Good evening to the lion. Oh, How are you going? Good evening. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, very happy of this cell. Very, very uh, Good evening. You can't de stress all you. Yeah. <laughs> what? De stress at what? De stress at what? With what? Look at the de stress a little bit. Well, you mean you mean de stress? All oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you listened to music? <laughs> You know what we're gonna talk about? De stress. We cool them down. Cool close yeah. today, so it's de stressing. Oh, yes, yes. cool close yes. today. Yes. Oh, yeah. today is the last day. It is now officially the July August vacation. Shamika and she glee. <laughs> is it uh, relaxing to have the children having nothing to do? Nope. Well, I can't answer. Um, for that. So long, you will raise that topic. That's our next topic. That's our next topic. Because we excited, ah, seeing, you know, Trent excited. We're on vacation. Yay! But can't go nowhere. Where are we going to take them? So we ain't finished until August. Right, so. <laughs> Tobago. Tobago. To no, not Tobago. At the team's youth. Soka party on a Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Tonight, that is something to be part of. Say, Luigi, what is music, <laughs> I, so I only listen. I listen. I listen. We did have something called Summer Body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We even had a basketball summer camp as well. Yeah. For the youth. So is that we do a summer body program, mm-hmm. a basketball program, but we always try to do something yeah. for the summer with the youth. So right now, we're going to have a youth soccer party, Fridays, right? So that's where you're going to have fun, get fit, and feel fantastic. Nice one. Nice. <clears throat> So, are we going to get the? Are you guys going to get the parents involved in all of that too? Mike, it's for the youth. Youth. Bye, bye, the youth. Hi, Well, I. All right, so Jason is on the live, so let us just say congratulations to Jason. On you know the delivery and the welcoming of her new yeah. baby. Woo, 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 woo. So congratulations, Jazan! Yeah. Congrats, Jazan! Well done. Hmm. Well done. Congratulations. Good afternoon, Riri. Good afternoon, Tornhill. How what? Boy or girl? Mm. Nice vibes, man. Yeah, so just now, Jazan, it's a boy, Mike, boy. <laughs> so her princess here. Congrats, Jillian. Well it's done. Nice done. Nice, nicely, nicely, nicely. <laughs> I, have I have a question for the panel. I have a question. Huh. What angle are we going to take this topic? At present, what Mommy. angle are we going to take it from? This is parenting, past, present, and future, part two. So, Chica, what angle do you think we should take to deal with this? Verena, you can tell us as well. Now, last well. um, <laughs> live, we definitely hit on the past parenting. 
and how it is the um person parenting is like we touched a little bit and what we think the future type of parenting style right. will be right yes. so right now we are in the present yes and i think we should focus a little bit more on the present all right and what are our parenting styles right now really what is it okay marina what, presently right what are mm -hmm. your key your, your, your top your key attributes in parenting right now present for me is um i love to have the kids have open discussion me so so when they they do something wrong they could ask, ask okay well mommy why are you like so that or um why are you buff them up um you know mommy i didn't like that you hurt my skin and i will not ball at them because they have that opinion so I, I love to hear my kids opinion but at the same time sometimes they cross the line and you have you can't spare the rod because you spare the rod you spoil the child right so they have to get a little licks in between nothing abusive you know right but mm -hmm. just to let them know hey mommy mean business because sometimes sometimes my kids don't listen to my voice <laughs> daddy talk everybody straight like a pin mommy talk the watch me the continue so that is when you know, i have to come out and be a little more stern right but i right. i generally i like the learning aspect of parenting you know where you nurture them for the future and not just yeah. think that okay mature and I, I make sure my friend don't get in trouble and do this and that's that no because yeah. we passing on information for them to take now and deal with their own mm. kids future yeah, so you know yeah. we have to consider that yeah correct i support that <clears throat> yeah Tornhill. good afternoon to you too mike presently well how are you dealing with the grand and and Oh, good question. Um, for me, I think one of the things, the way I deal with my grandson is a completely different to how I was used to deal with my children. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> Local. My kids. <laughs> Hi, guys. Chizan. Chizan. <laughs> Hi, Jizzy! Congratulations oh, again. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. How are you feeling? Monty. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Are you home I'm all already? Right. So, I'm she home. She, like she didn't. She ain't even look like you know. Yeah, she looked the same way, boy. Some hours ago. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, that nose look. Hey, boy. That child nose looking like mine. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Look at my boy. You're fine, so my Lord. <laughs> she, he's cute. He's cute. Oh well done. Thank well you. done, Jizan. Well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> Thank well you done. very much. Yeah. Burn how how was it? <laughs> how was That's it? a new right. member. A new member for the burn team. <laughs> a new member for the burn team. Yeah, that's right. It was hard yeah. work, but it played off. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. Yep. All right. Okay, so I don't need yeah. to answer no adult yeah. question, no parent question, no. You are the shan, you are the shan. Yeah. <laughs> the burn, the burn boy. The burn the boy. The burn boy. <laughs> yeah, the burn boy. <laughs> so I was saying, uh, Shulan. We turn on Mike as Mike sipping. So, <laughs> so I was saying, was, uh, somebody. Shulan, how was this pregnancy for you? <laughs> I was in labor for four days. Wow. Wow. Wait, four days? Oh, gee, four what? days. I can't think yeah. about that. I can't think yeah. of that. I'm glad I've been through that, yes? I, mine is just four hours, Jazan. Four hours yeah. and that is it. Four days, well, you yeah. think? Mine was 24 <laughs> I had 24 <laughs> Trust me. 24 But it was all worth it. Right. Good. Healthy. Everybody healthy. Everybody healthy. Yes. Baby right. healthy. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Riri is saying good afternoon, guys. Hi, Riri. Good afternoon, Riri. How come she's not alive? I think she's cooking right now. Oh, she, 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 
Yes. Oh, she's cooking. We are not with the same girl. <laughs> yeah, she's taking a little time off. Yeah, she's taking a little time off. <coughs> so let's tell one more to answer the question. What question was that, Mike? He, Shola, has asked me how I handle my grandson. Um, right, okay. Mike was giving us some information, yeah? Yeah. Um, I deal with my grandsons different mm -hmm. to how I deal with my full grown children. And what's happening? So, for instance, the things I used to do before with my children, I do it completely different. Right. Yeah, I do it completely different now. When I say completely different, what mm -hmm. different in what way, Mike? Um, discipline. Discipline, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, tell us, t give us a little detail about how the discipline changed from then to now. What is it different? Oh, the discipline from then to yeah. Right. <laughs> you find you find in those days with my children, I was a little more loose, so I would allow them to do certain things. Mm -hmm. No, right. because of things have changed, life, technology, everything. I always tend to find whenever my grandson come around, I'll be a little more stricter with him. Talking mm -hmm. to him about life. Um, yep. And for instance, he always want to be on the games. So. The society would, has changed. They have to realize that the right. society when we grow mm -hmm. up in it, mm -hmm. back when your days till now, in it, the society is changed, yeah. especially in England yeah. as well. well I, know, mm -hmm. I know that in mm -hmm. England it changed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so, for, for, for here, he mm -hmm. could understand me now when I'm relating to him. Because his mom always used to say to him, um, Daddy never used to do us with that. Daddy never used to talk to us like that. So mm -hmm. he dealing with you different. Is either he's trying to spoil you mm -hmm. or he's trying to change, you know, the whole concept of how. Now remember, I had three girls before a boy. So being mm -hmm. a father mm -hmm. of girls was completely different to my son. He was the last one. That like me now, I'll have a right. I'm a boy, yeah, right. different, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So now that I have three grandsons, two in the US, one here, I deal with them completely different. Like for instance, my son. I deal with my son different too. Right. Um in as as big as he is, I deal with him like a man. Right. You know? Draw a line. But how old your grandson is, Mike? The one in Trinidad, he's 12 years. Took SA last sure. year. The other two in the US. 12. Are, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So he's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big yeah. boy. But he could un yeah. Yeah. So he was mm -hmm. the first. So, you know, you remember you were saying that sometimes when you're talking to children, just look at them, they change their whole attitude. If he comes to the house mm -hmm. and he tends to kind of drift a little bit. I just go and stand in front of him and watch him. And he know what time of the day it is. When right. he's doing something wrong. <laughs> no, it's mm -hmm. true. I, I never used to yet. do that with my children. Mm -hmm. I never used to do that with the girls. Not the boy. I never used to do that. So, I was more me, loose. Let me, let me interject on here, Mike. Yeah, go ahead. Let me interject on here. Mike. So, what? believe in, in cotton skin? Punishment, if you even when you cross the lines, yeah, hello. Well, that's a good question. I have never beaten my children, never. Mm -mm. My son, my, yeah, three girls and a boy, but my son, I discipline him physically because he stood up for me once. And my son up in the air here and I down here. So I challenge him because I had to let him know I am the father. So they have to do the, the, that kind of respect both ways. I respect you, you respect me. I respect you as my son, you respect me as your father. When it comes to corporal punishment, Shulan, it depends on what you're beating your child for. When I say beat, what you're disciplining your child for. I've never, never hit my daughters. They could test that. Never. No, my son, when they were smaller. I used to talk. And I will talk once. 
not twice. Mm -hmm. That's like me. I only talk once. I don't yeah. talk twice. Yeah. And I give them an eye. How, you know how what time it is? Or they have to tell no, me the secret see. to doing that, you know, because, no, because I never, England, I was you, never able to get hit, that. You can't, you can't hit kids here with the social. Yeah. They call the police for Call the police, police coming for you. But, yeah. but what, so is the, what, what is the strategy? What is the strategy? Because I prefer to talk than to hit. But I find myself. One eye, one eye. Yeah, look, because I have to talk two, three times. But I just have to talk two, three times still. Body language. No, once. Your body I language. Talk once. Body your body language. language. Yeah, when your I body talk language. once, I ain't talking <laughs> twice. Yeah. Serious. Your body language. Your yeah. body language. And they have to know yeah. what time it is as well. Yep. Yep. So you see, like how oh. Jason did it just. You see, Jason just. Just now there? She gave her. One look. My one look. One. Serious business one time. That's serious business one time. And when I, when I say no, I mean no. No is no. No, yeah, and maybe, and you know, one, no, no. And not, not no, and then you turn around and give them it still. Yeah, give it I, I think, no, 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 no. No is I think, no. I think one That's of the mistakes tough as well. a lot of parents today making is they'll allow their children to control their homes. Yeah, I, I see it happen a lot and you yeah. see by allowing your child to Some rule you, it's it's not good. And I said, with my own sister, I see it and I tell her, I said, you know what, you allowing these boys to rule you, no way, yeah. you the parent, yep. you be yep. the mother, them yep. is not the parent, yeah. you the mother, yeah. Correct. and she allow them, yeah. it's what you do, what you allow them to do, they are accustomed doing that. But but so you know, know Jesus. Well, yeah, Rihanna, Rihanna asked a good question right, here, you know. So my <laughs> yes, yes. So that's what well, I will come to that. How, how you deal with pressure kids, kids to need? That's a good question. You have to deal with them different. You have to you deal, have to deal with, them with them different, different obviously. Yeah. You have to deal with it's them like different. children with autism. Yeah, you have to deal and with them all different. these kinds. Of, you have to deal with behavioral problems and all yep. these matters. You have to deal yep. with them different. Yep. You understand? Yeah. So, it's a so first you have to under understand your child. Yeah, first you yep. have to you understand, understand your child. child first. Yep. You have yep. to understand yep. that child. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that child. It's no the point shouting shout at a child. child. Yeah. When you shout at a child, a child not gonna listen to you. Nope. By nope. shouting. Nope. nope. You have to be on a tone. I think. You see I sh think shouting and calling after to, a child. Yeah. What we need mm. to look at too is we need to know our children's weakness and strength strength exactly i agree yeah. that's yeah. one thing yeah you need to know the weakness and the strength and a next thing as well a, ch a child could play your mind they know how to get at you as well they've got you. every child eh? every single yeah, every child, child. All, so all this is them. what i'm saying my all grandson of them, so you have to know seriously my grandson is do me that he does do me that yeah 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 yeah, yeah do that. <laughs> so exactly. he will come around he will come around if I discipline him in a certain way, not hitting. He will come, pap, papi, he rest the head on my shoulder. How are you going? You all right? right? Yeah, I love yeah. you. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know all yeah. the tricks in the book yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. So my place of music, we want to pick up everybody on the line. Yeah. She can pick up the people on the line, huh? All right. So <laughs> we have Waylon on the line. Yes. We have Rihanna on the line. We have Maiden on the live, one of our young people. Yes. And Jazan, I seen like Jazan both places. And then we have uh, <laughs> Mr. Jazan on the live as well. Yes, yes. We have uh, Tresha Mitchell on the live. Yes. We have Kyla. Oh, Kyla. Yeah, Kyla. Yeah, boy. Oh, Abby said to say hi and she. Much love. Feel free to Abby, in the comment section. Abby said that how she haven't forget you guys, but she's busy working and she's missing the shows because of work. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We know. We know how yeah. it is. We know how it is. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she works nights in it. We know yeah. she's a frontliner. Yes. Yeah, you know, so Abby always on the frontliner. Feel free to place in the comment section. How do you, what's your style of parenting? If you believe in corporal capital and all kind of punishment, if you believe in AI, <laughs> if you believe in just as, just the look and you're dead. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I seriously. I grow like, like that with my mother. My mother. Before when my mother talk once. Mm-hmm. Right? So, my place of music. And we got touch back. Yeah? Yes, Mike? Yeah? I mean, listen. <laughs> my, my discipline... That's why I'm who I am today and was able to be a single father for 20 something years. Because my father was a very disciplined type of guy. Um, when he say no, is no. But he had a way as a father. He used to spoil me to a point. And I think that's what carried over with me to my children. I kind of spoiled them because they were girls and then the boy he came last but having three girls in the earlies i was more like uh how we say it guys security guard so I'm guarding over my daughters and them you know mm-hmm. don't want to discipline them and just talk about life yeah yeah and and one of the most important thing as a father with your daughters, always let them trust you. Yeah. Sure. Trust you. The reason I say that, because I remember, I could say this on air, I remember when my big daughter was seeing her menstruation the first time, she came home to me and said, Daddy, X, Y, Z, I need to get my part. I went to the drugstore store and buy parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was mm-hmm. able to be confident in coming to talk to me as her father. Nice. Nice relationship. Right. That yeah. doesn't take yeah. away the fact that when you have boy children, you wouldn't operate the same thing. Because remember, girls and boys different in many ways. So you have to know what your daughters and them want, what they don't want. Yeah. Same thing with your son. Yeah. Because also, guys, remember, as a man, you cannot teach your daughter to be a woman. Eh? And as a woman, you cannot teach your son to be a man. You could give him tools, ideas, you could talk to him. But you can't teach them, especially daughters. Mm-hmm. For me, I could have only said certain things to my daughters. I couldn't go to the length to be a woman. Because I'm not a woman. Well, exactly. Don't have you don't have that experience to right. give them that. Yes, yes, yeah. Play some music for me, Daddy Mike. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back. We <laughs> So you listen to real talk, pass, parents. Somebody say long time yeah. they had the experience. Somebody get a lick with a posy. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that way, <laughs> lad? <laughs> Where's that one? <laughs> I'll recap it. Hey, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> so you listen to real talk live. <laughs> Saying that we need to specify who the lick coming from, right? Because people use different equipment. So if it's where they lick from, mommy, daddy, 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 daddy,
Because yeah. every parent or grandparent, your grandmother, you say you something different from your father and your mother. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your grandmother. Listen, I, I don't know what to say again, you know. Let not easy. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like nothing better. We don't sleep. We don't sleep, Mike. <laughs> I know you don't sleep. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well done. This smell like cologne and cigarettes. Cigarettes. Breath. And girl come and perform for me. Wind down low and perform. You've been on my mind so long. You'll be back in a few weeks. Don't we coming back in? Feel free to place in the comment section. What type of parenting style you enjoy? Yes? Do you share links or do you give the eyes? Yeah? So you listen to Real Talk Live. And we discussed it in our part two of parenting, past, present, future, with Lion, Chica J, Mike the Man, and Verena. And joining us also with a bouncing baby boy, Chisan, all the way in Birmingham, UK. Yes, that's hour? right. What are you doing up this hour? <laughs> oh. Locked on to Real Talk Live, Parenting Past, Present, Future, with Lion, Chica J, Mike the Man, and Farina, and our beautiful new, no, I can't say new mother again, but Jizan, congratulations again on behalf of everybody here at the Boom Team, alright? Thank you. Nice so listen, Rihanna is asking a question here. Saying, what about young girls nowadays running away? How will you guys help parents? What do you think about that? That question, guys. Hmm. Um, in terms of that question, it has so many reasons why a girl child will run away. It could be one, she's not comfortable in the home that she's living in. That's why many times when teenagers run away, the children's authority or the child's protection unit will get involved to investigate because you're not sure if it's a situation at home when they are being abused or anything yeah. like that yeah. right and then of course there is a case where young girls experience you know trying out new things yeah. so it all depends on the reason for them running away and how the parents can deal with that 
Now, if it's the parent know that the child is running away because they're trying, you know, to get some experience, so they're running away. What's our party? You know, for whatever yeah. reason it is, yeah. then that parent needs to, you know, sit down, yeah. try and have a talk with the child. If it is, they know that they cannot do it, get the help. So that somebody else will be able to speak with the child and guide them. Because what? sometimes these days, parents don't want to hear what their parents have to say, and that is a reality. Yeah. They may want True. to hear from someone else. But Chica, could I ask a question? Yes, so, yeah, so when we're looking at all of this, we're talking about parenting. Now, with the intervention of internet, we're talking about girls running away as uh, Riri asks. What would you tell your daughter, especially when you don't know what they're doing behind closed doors? Because you know exactly. there's a lot of grooming going on online where a lot of these young ladies will get caught up um how would you deal with a situation like that what would you say to your daughter um well firstly i will be always monitoring what it is my daughter do if i had one i don't have one <laughs> yes <Yeah. Well, she laughs> has a lot of adopted daughters yes <laughs> Yes. Yes. I, don't have none is, yet. I don't have one biologically, but yes. what I do um, when I speak to the young ladies that I interact with on a daily basis is remind them of, you know, the dangers, because sometimes they forget about the dangers out there. Yeah. And I think yes, when they I agree. up front, totally agree. then they wouldn't even want mm-hmm. to try. They will think a second time. You need to be up front. Don't wait till they reach a certain age and as a city home. Yeah. Then so don't hide it. Hide it. Parents. Exactly. Yeah, hide it and you're pretending that this is not what the world is, is, you know? Right. You, you have, have to be open with your kids. Exactly. You have to yeah. Be I got a 15 year old boy and a 16. She'll be 16 this year. I'm open with her. You have to. Got I remember side. somebody saying if you mm-hmm. don't teach your child about it, someone else is going to teach them and you don't know what that lesson is going to be if it's going to be a good lesson or a bad lesson a bad lesson i agree correct Correct. (laughs) so you have to teach your child up front someone else the wrong thing yes yeah they might get the wrong thing yeah they might get the wrong thing these kids get caught up you don't want that to get yes very Mm -hmm. quick they get caught up quick right Mm -hmm. so we've seen riri saying in the past girl kids can't even wear short clothes and what about presently parents letting girls wear what they want? Uh, True, yeah. I see. No, I see toddlers wearing short clothes. Well, I will tell you something. I see thirteen-year-old. Well, uh, last week when I went to the shopping mall to get a few things, and this girl she looked about younger than my daughter, and she had a belly outside and and brought up, and I'm like, this child only look thirteen. You know, why is she dressed like that? So, and, you know, and this is Again, where guys traffic in these girls, young girls. Bad, bad, bad yes. parenting. Yeah. Our parents yes. allow these kids to do these things. Right, so that is the, that's what we call the permissive parents or the negligent parents. Because if it is we have permissive or negligent parents, you'll have mm-hmm. them doing whatever it is they want to yeah. do. They, right? they want exactly. Not parents, instead, once it is a but young lady, okay, some kids don't have a bo- well, bound. They don't have boundaries then with the kids. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because nothing mm-hmm. wrong with wearing something short, you know. No. But it's, it's how you wear it. Appropriate. Yeah. You have to wear it appropriate. Yes. That's yeah, appropriate. Yeah. And how you wear it. Exactly. I agree. Mm-hmm. I totally so agree. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to dress. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. But, appropriate. But, I I remember a long time going out in short clothes. Yeah. I mean, when I was a teenager, I went to the mall. I had on a nice short but, skirt and a vest, you know. But I was not crying about, about myself in an inappropriate way or anything, way, yeah. you know. Yeah, you it's carry yourself, short, yes. Oh my! And, and you have a short, short underneath your skirt too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> my daughter right. goes to school with dresses, she wears skirts and shorts underneath. Hey, I get a chance to do that. <laughs> you know, we 
when the the younger generation reaches a particular age bracket, mm-hmm. you know, it, it tends now to go to a different threshold in the mind, the hormones, as we say. And treating with that, you know, would be based upon the relationship we have with our kids. Yep. You know? Yep. So we can now yeah. speak to them without them being closed up. Mm-hmm. Because what happens, mm-hmm. I realize, is when we try to get into young people, because we work with a lot of youth around that kind of vibration, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, the way you try to get into them, mm-hmm. right? Sometimes it, 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 it you're a little forceful. Yeah. The last yeah. time I spoke uh-huh. in the class that was with Miguel, right? I asked the class, who are you? Right? Who are you? Are you a prince? Are you a princess? And sometimes we need to instill in the youth value. Yep. And okay. maybe because of the, maybe the internet and peer like, yeah, pressure and style and fashion and trends, we know it have it out there. A lot of influences yeah. coming in. And we follow influences ourselves. In Copycat. Copycat. <laughs> Copycat. I hear that word for a long time. And when Copycat. you see yourself as a prince or a princess, <laughs> your behavior will match the mindset. Exactly. But, uh-huh. but shall I... Now, some kids do things to rebel, eh? Because, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, at a teenage age, that's the time where sometimes you rebel. Because you of you're trying to figure agree. yourself out. Okay. So, yeah. that's the time you see your daughter cut up she hair and pierce her oh. eyes and. <laughs> Pierce the tongue and all kind of thing, and you want to know about what going on with my child. Well, let me but, tell yeah. you something, eh? Yeah, go ahead. Let me tell you something because depend on the parent that you have, the total piercing in nose, oh, right. or when I'm navel piercing or anything like that, or when I'm hot, hot shorts, it wouldn't even cross the mind. Or if it doesn't you know, cross your mind, you're not even going to put it out there. Yeah. You will say, I'll wait yeah. until I reach 20. That's reality. Yeah, 20, fear, no. I'll wait no. until I reach 20. Yeah. <laughs> 20, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we have Keisha. Good night, Keisha. No, true, so, Laverna, you're right. Saying, yes, no. I believe. Yeah. So teach my children first before anybody. It works with my son. Correct. Who is writing CXC never had problems with him. Good. Yep. Correct. And also, uh, Miss Bartholomew is saying, nothing is wrong in allowing your child to wear what they want, as she said. It encourages individuality, but also you have to teach them what is appropriate for their age and destination. True. No, true. I, I feel that agree. one. My pause raised with that comment. Yeah. No, but it's true though. Go to the head of the class, but Miss Bartholomew. <laughs> but, but we miss. You know what? I will stop you guys there. You know, sometimes it's like this Asian family here, right? They mm-hmm. allow it. They 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 going away. They can't wear appropriate. But they hide behind the parents' back. They yeah. carry clothes out and dress yeah. up and yeah. they, they still have any short but, skills. But Gizan. Jizan, when I was living in Manchester, were you saying yeah. that's correct? I had a Somali neighbor. No, seriously. Yeah, some Somalis mm-hmm. living next door to me. Mm-hmm. You know they used to wear these, these Somali girls wearing the... Um, yeah, they had the head, the, the head show cover and that, yeah. Uh-huh. I, have, I came home from work a couple of nights and see them uh-huh. sitting on the park with fellas. They don't have on that head because they want to dress nice. They want to yes. look the part. This is, yeah. They hide and do it. This is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But but we missing something here. We talking about the girls. Let's talk about the boy children now, because we have to understand that we also have to train our boys to respect our young women. You to respect yes. women as we are it, of course. As, of course, as of a course, mother, we agree. But I am the only father right now in life. But she learning me children yet, probably <laughs> next year. But, <laughs> ladies, oh dear, ladies, why you why you? Uh, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Know, I don't know. Probably Guinness and egg or some kind of thing here, no? But you need to get some Guinness and egg. Yeah, get some Guinness and egg. Hey, just oh, like, what? I think I make that thing up here. <laughs> but, but this question is for you, Jizan. 
you oui. are um yeah no you have a son um um let's say it's for all of us what would you yes. say to your son when it comes to talking to them about addressing young ladies how to talk to well, them you know how, what yeah. so I, what i will teach my son because what as a parent you have to show women respect right you can't disrespect women and you know because i see i my girlfriend right now her son he got no respect for the young girls he abused them talked to them and, and she allow him to and i'm like you supposed to show him a lead way to respect women you know Chizan, let me let me cut in there because sometimes yeah. it's not up it's yeah. not just up to the mom alone so you don't just tell well, your children you show them and if the father yeah. or the, the male figure in the house the doesn't show them demonstrate that respect but them and you know the respect kid, the son though so he ain't know that either he ain't know that he ain't no different he don't have either. that he don't have like, that his father is the argument. same yeah, but, yeah. Exactly. yeah but, guys, this is what... but guys we still have to look at this too you have a you have a mother and a father in a house you have a son everybody we supposed to be cool it's distressing fine it'll be distressing or no but we're going to play some music and we'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you're listening to yeah, Real Talk yeah, Live. Yeah. You're listening to Real Talk Live. Part two, parenting, past, present, future with the Lion, Chica J, Mike the Man, Farina, Jizan. You know, yeah, like a breeze, a cool in your dome. I pray how you been to the ground. Yeah, you roll your yeah. body, you know. Watch that bumper set on day. Hands up high, you're surrounded. I want to come and show you a little something. Hey, 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 folks, all of uh, you guys in the outside uh, in the listening land. This is me, Mike the Man, and uh, we want to bring some interesting news for you. We want to welcome a new an addition to Radio Irie. Her name is Jamaica James, our social worker who is going to be on board with Radio Irie. We are going to be starting a new series soon. It's called The Effects of COVID on the Family the blueprint so look out for that this is me mike the man saying welcome shamika jamesy So yeah, guys, you're locked on to Real Talk Live, part two of parenting from last week, past, present, future, with Lion, Chica J, Mike the Man, Verena, and Jason, all the way in the UK. We're going to say goodnight. So over to you guys, Chica and uh, the Lion, without it. Uh -uh. So listen, yes. so, yeah, go um, ahead, guys. You back inside. Jason and Verena was really getting into it. Now I have another point to add to that as well, right? Yeah. What about the women respecting men, girls respecting boys? Um, yep. Yeah. So, correct. Uh, some months back, right? I would have seen, right? I would have witnessed 
the way that her mother spoke to her male child, and it's a boy, a toddler. And you know, it's she was like basically teaching him balance by the way she reacted to something that he did. So if it is we teach, it doesn't matter whether it's a male or a female, if it is we teach them violence, that is what they're going to, or even this teach them me. disrespect, mm-hmm. that is what they're going to gonna do, that will be their type of behavior. So it's not a matter of True. Just and we saying, have... you know, you should treat girls with respect. We have to show them that to treat we everyone. are treating them with respect. Right, and it is not even okay mm-hmm. for them to take disrespect from another female. You know how women, you know, mothers they say, No, don't take no disrespect from any man, don't let him treat you this way or that way. Do we tell our sons that? You know, and exactly. That is another, and we have something that is serious, Marina. Yeah, and we have a we have this new kind of trend now where women think disrespecting men is okay and it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because okay. It's not okay to disrespect no, men it's and it's not, not okay yeah. to disrespect your children. We have to teach our kids respect. And it's not about yes, boy trend especially or girl trend especially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about across the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Balance. Balance. But but also yeah. you have to remember, you know, we're getting deep in this conversation when it comes to parenting. You have to remember also what our children see in the home, what they see is what they learn, eh? So if children see yes, yes, either parent what... being ill treated, most of the times she Shamika, you know this, most of the times they go into future relationships thinking that I could tell That's my, appropriate. My, my, yeah. Uh, but here it is the danger of it yeah. is that yeah. you will see mommy and daddy fighting and then you see them in the living room hugging up and kissing and all kind of thing yeah. so you're asking yourself wait now but i just see all the fighting and then next thing all they're going on hugging up so they love them so they carry exactly. that most of the time they carry that into so i feel like oh, fella, you see me i go beat her no, no. yeah exactly exactly and for some women there are some women outside there who just love you more if you, if you, if you be them. Eh? We're not saying it is right. Because that's what they see in the home. That's what they accept, yeah. And that's what they accept. Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. Oh, well, Lord. You see that? Chica. <laughs> Chica, hey. some mother. I believe that, no, boy? No, no, no. So, I is not a female and I think I want a man beating me now, Yeah. What I will say is that if it is the end up in a situation like that, because everybody deals with situations differently. Just as children may grow up in the same home, they learn the same things, they see the same things, yeah. and everybody takes a different path. Ah. So now it's up to the individual to decide which path they are going to take. Listen, right? We are not, we... when it is, yes, it is. We know that you know witnessing behaviors growing yeah. up in an environment do affect you, but it's how you choose yep. to let it affect so you. Do you. Yeah. you see that yeah. it's affecting you in a negative way, mm-hmm. you get the help. That's Look, the Rihanna asks an important question, and this is real question she just asked. What about fathers that tell their girl children, if a man hit you, hit him back? Don't keep no well, lash. I never really heard that before. I was uh-huh. Me neither. I never heard it. No. No, it's true. I never hear that one before. No. Mm-mm. Well. Like, I don't know if you ever hear any. But um, I have heard it. Hit man back. I never yeah. heard that. I know the I part. never hear. If it says any man hits you, let me know. Uh, call me. Tell your brother. Yeah. Right. So the lion will not come away, but I really never heard of that. No. Um. I have. I am the only boy. And I have four sisters. So you know, I have some strong females in the, in the bloodline. And um, I heard my grandmother say, I always look my grandmother. But I ready by now. Is she ready? Right? Um, the 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 my grandmother <laughs> said, if the man hits you, wait till he's sleeping, get some hot oil, 
And four it down years. I hear that one. I hear that one. I hear that one. Or hot water. Take some hot water and try it on him, but you wait until he's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but what about. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but don't fight. Don't no fight. Fix it then and think nice. Week. And wait till he's sleeping, man. Man, handle a man. But hey. Yes. Yeah. We're not, mm-hmm. we, we not yes. advertising domestic yes. violence here, that's but right. also, yes, yes, but, but also, but also, the old people saying, yeah. Long time you used to hear, every man gain your trouble. You know, it have white sugar, I it have brown sugar. <laughs> Grate up some bottle and put in white sugar and give him some teeter drink, and he go start to spit blood. All you never hear that be calling now come. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So Keisha is saying, I teach my kids my door is always open. Don't even stay in an abusive relationship. Yes, Keisha. Yes. Yes. And you know, it have this thing with parents. Yes. When children leave the home, they don't come back and don't this and it's no space here for you. No. But, but that is not yeah. the but way to. Have- but you know what is the contributor and most of the times of domestic violence also. If a woman is being domesticated in a home, both male or female, but mostly uh, women, this I, is real talk. Yes, when you go back yes, home yes, to your parent, yes, they will say, but the man have house, car, boat, goat, cow, we are leaving that for, <laughs> go back in the relationship. Go back most to the material thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we listen to Real Talk Live, part two parenting, past, present, future with Lion, Chica J, Mike the Man, Verena. Yeah, let me keep it light all your music. Nice. Man. Keep it light. Yes. So <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Rain falling. But well, Mike was asking questions. Yeah, yeah, Mike is. So it's not just the <laughs> It's Friday earlier. I'm a stressful week. <laughs> <laughs> So let me just adjust some music. We'll be right back in a short short. So we want to say good afternoon to everybody who locked on right now. To Burn TV or Burn Team TV or Burn TV Team. But the right thing is Burn Team TV, right? And come with the questions. You're glad that you guys are participating and enjoying yourself. This is what it is all about, all right? It's about... What 6 58 p.m. in TNT, wherever, whatever part of the world, wherever part of the Caribbean you're listening, when you're nice and this is the place to be, all right, I with the Burn Team TV, real talk live, part two of parenting, past, present, future with Lion, Chica J, Farina, Jizan, and Mike the Man. Yeah, guys, so we're back inside. We're back inside. Um, let me read. Rihanna is saying, I think on a whole, both parents have to take their problems in their bedroom or wait for the kids to sleep to deal with their problems. What do you think about that? Yes. 
Yeah, it is not the child's place to be involved in. in. Yeah, involving adult problems, right? Yeah. Um, what I will add to that, too, is that if it is okay, let us see now with the situation of COVID, right? Yeah. That if a problem arises, that it will really affect the family. And the child is at a certain age where they will be able to understand. I mm -hmm. think that that young adult should be a part of the discussion. Okay. So in the future, they will know how to, they will have an idea of how to with some of those said situations so they will be like oh mommy and dad used to deal with these type of problems right yeah and that's yeah. Important, very important to always speak with yeah. your children correct yeah. so my verena chica um is it that parents need to have a, a better idea conflict resolution when coming to the, the family unit and incorporating the young adults or children because the way they deal with conflict would resonate in the mind of the, the children. Exactly. And Correct. this is not only for parents who live together, but in terms of co-parenting, yeah. because that's a whole other topic, right? In terms of persons who are no longer in relationship and when it says they have to co-parent, yeah. all the child is seeing is okay. like a tug of, tug of war, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mommy pulling so, daddy pulling me so. Correct, yeah. Right? So, whether they are living in the home together or not, yeah. you should be able to teach positive. You should be, you know, as I just said, the conflict resolution yeah. must be more on a positive side rather than it being negative no outcome, no positive outcome from whatever the situation may be. Comment section. Keisha. Yeah. All right. And so they have to Keisha think about... Say, um. I used to believe that the best way for kids to trust me is... Oh, she, she's saying she used to think the best way is to leave them out. The best for kids to trust me yeah right put them down sit down talk to them show them how to deal with their life problem yeah, yeah? so if it is okay because we know a lot of time and children when the school they have problems and they need help they need to know conflict resolution as well and sometimes what some parents would have done is leave the child let them yeah. handle it on their own because they can't fight all their um battles for them correct yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. Right, I remember it's hard when my sister was in primary school, like maybe standard one, and one of her classmates had a sister in a higher standard, and the girl used to bully her and call her names and all of that, right? Uh -huh. Um, so at one point, the girl called tell her that she black, uh -huh. and she was like, Well, I'm glad I black you white, you will get dirty faster. <laughs> 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 it was like really it was like really funny that's like you know never thought of that right so it's not you really have uh -huh. to sometimes leave the child to yeah. deal with because if you don't know how to stand up the person will always take advantage of yep. you yep right correct. so we really need to know and the person never harassed after that yeah correct so, well said in, well said the, hmm. the exactly the second century right but we have the 21st yeah. still 21st. Yes. This is this is the problem now because we have had so much of a, a diverse family unit now. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about mommy daddy scenario. Yeah. And when you brought up that that, uh, that was that was, that was that was racial, the last stuff we can talk about. And we have interracial families. Right? Yes. Yes. So some of the young people growing up in interracial families, right? And when they see racism in that, that form, we have to prepare these young people to deal. Because it's coping that is causing the negativity. They're not really able to cope with the bullying as well. Bullying is one that we need to train young persons on how to deal with bullying. <laughs> racialism that type of thing yeah. 
So they may grow up with mommies, East Indian and daddies, African and everybody hunky dory. But when they go out into the school life and the people and they come across these types of scenarios, we need to have some form of parenting to prepare them. I believe parenting is more preparing your kids for the jungle. But but do you think <laughs> but but Shalan is a jungle out there? Right. But but guys, do you think too we had to look at the fact of culture, uh -huh. people cultural background too? That has a big part to play today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was going to add that in the cultures that sometimes we ourselves teach our children rich to be rich. True. Yeah. And we don't want that's that's not what we should be doing. And that's why we have that jungle out there. Um, so like for example, no. yesterday, I had to wonder if this young man had a child. If he has a child, because you know they showed this um boy from St. Gabriel's and he was dancing, he happy to finish SBA. And he was on that post is something positive happening. And he made it political. He made it, made it racist, yes. yeah. and it was a child, an innocent child. And if it is we are doing these things on social media in front of our children, that's what we are teaching them, and as such, we cannot expect anything better. We know the adults that we interact with on a daily basis. So when you see the teenagers, even toddlers as well, they learn a lot to know. So when people are thinking, no, I'm small, I'm not understanding anything, that is not true. They are absorbing, they are soaking it up, right? And those things, and for some very strange reason, I just say like the bad things, the ones that are very negative, like it's, they soak it up a little bit more than the things that are positive. <laughs> it does affect them more, yeah. Kisha, Kisha asks a question. Kisha asks a question. Um, Another potent yeah. question again. Somebody want to read it? All right. So when kids don't know about your bad part of marriage or relationship, they think it's like a fairy tale. And when problems hit, they, they can't deal with it because they don't talk about how to deal with it. So that's a statement there. And that is why it is very important to speak to your children and it has certain things that you'll be able to involve your children in in part of the discussion when it comes to conflict resolution. It's, as she said, it's not a fairy tale. So you think yeah. it's a bed of roses, as I like to use the white picket fence, All right? right? Mm -hmm. And you thinking nothing is going on. Because there are lots of times that parents do keep things behind closed doors and sometimes the children don't even know and later on in life they may either hear that the mother saying you know your father used to abuse me or you might hear a man saying you know your mother was unfaithful to me you know these different things how do you deal with that when the situation comes up right as, so when we as, come back for you now we'll give us two teeth on uh, what are some of the things we can implement in the young, you know, the, the children's life to prepare them for this kind of scenario that takes place? When we come back, Mike, so run some music. Okay. Well, let's get heavy quick. Well, let's get heavy quick in this place. <laughs> so so as, I, as I said, yeah, we are locked on to Real Talk Live. Part two of parenting past, present, future with Lion, Chica J, Verena, and Mike the Man. I think Jizan probably step aside. So this is how we're doing it, all right? And we hope that everybody taking the time to get into the weekend. And just remember, Kofi starts at uh, 9 o'clock, all right, people? Nine. Yes, 9 o'clock. So when we come back, we want to ask, uh...
So we are back, we are back, we are back. Yeah, Verena, over to you. Yes. So what can we do to give our kids these little skills? Yeah. And I, I, I think it, it starts from a very young age, eh? from when they're small, as Shamika was saying, from toddler, they are absorbing and learning everything. Mm-hmm. So we have to allow them to be their individuals from, from that age as well. Yeah. right and as they get older they will have little conflicts right because they are humans and all human beings have conflicts when they come in contact with other humans yeah and it was for me i was the parent that would jump in every time you know fly in you see the brother hit the next one you're jumping hey all your stop yep. and saying my husband say no yet these are young men you're growing up and you have to let them understand how to deal with their conflicts on their own right so you observe them first so you know they're they, they one hit the next one hits and then where you hit me for and they start to talk and or they probably start to quarrel and i run into parts and he said leave them and observe how they they will deal or handle with the conflict and that's where you're strengthening their way in which they could deal with it now what i do is after i see what they do and i recognize okay they did something wrong syndrome. i will <laughs> I will pull yeah, mother head syndrome. <laughs> Always defensive for she chicken the mother head, yeah. Typical. That's so that's woman I will pull nature. them. Nature of women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will pull the my son aside. I say, you know, what it has happened? Okay, so what it is you could have done different yesterday? You no, know, I, I asked him the question, eh? I say, what you could have done different? He said, hit him. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I was like, I said, well, no, I said, well, we're talking, we're thinking about something that wouldn't hurt your brother, you know, or make him cry or hurt his feelings. You know, what you could have done. And, you know, then he said, well, you know, I could have come and talk to you or I could have given him a chance because he was fighting for the game. And now, well, I could have given him a chance. I said, well, right. I said, you didn't have to, you know, do that. And so that, that way now you get, you get a better, you get them now to come up with their strategies. I'm not telling him, hey, no, you could I give your brother a chance. No, he understands that he could give his brother a chance. And every time he do it or I correct him, he will know he, his approach will change over time. You know, you can't expect it to happen overnight, but, you know, it, it happens over time. So that's for the younger children, right? Three years, five years, six, going on ten. For the teenagers and them now, you have to involve them and include them in family discussions and you know give them a little more insight because they're old enough now and they can handle these things so if you're already teach them how to deal with conflict and so on from younger yes yes when things happen now you know you can talk and mind you you have to give them the opportunity to voice their opinions because they might watch you mommy and daddy and say but mommy you didn't have to talk to daddy like that and you can't slap them for saying that you understand you have to be able to listen to them too mm-hmm. right so listening to your kids is something very important in the whole parenting scenario it's not slavery i the no. master and you have to obey and listen to everything i say you know some people style, eh? I ain't school at all. Yeah. <laughs> so you know some people take it like that but you have to actually think about your family as a whole everybody's feelings everybody's emotions you know you have to to bring that closeness and that togetherness I think, nice you know, yeah. grow up the train with love. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. I That's have nothing. To, I have nothing to add to that. Eh? Oh. <laughs> so, Miss Bartholomew is saying, yes. so true. Our parents uh, left us to resolve our problems on our own, or less major. Yep, correct. What, before before we, we get out of here, one of my things is to add to what uh, Verena was saying. One of the ways I handle 
stuff as a single father with my children is that I used to have regular meetings. So everybody used to have their say. So I, I would listen to each individual and then come to a conclusion in the sense of if discipline was to handle out in a particular way, it will be dealt with. But I think what we need to do too, and as time changes, it's very difficult now because everything now is internet, children are no time. We, 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 the days gone by for having family meeting is no longer there anymore. Because everybody's always on a cell phone, a tablet. Nobody had time to interact. So we need to look at that, you know, the, the old-time parenting. Bring it, kind of inculcate it into the, to the new era. What do you guys think about that? Or Kisha is saying, what I do is I call family. Exactly. Exactly just what I was saying. I, I used yeah, to you have to call your little yeah, meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you deal with anybody individually. Yeah. So if you have to in, um, discipline Tom, you discipline Tom. But here you're disciplining Tom. You're leaving Tom. You're not letting the rest of children know what type of discipline you're giving Tom. Tom getting. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right, guys? Nice. Mm -hmm. A comment came up just now, guys. You see any comment, Shamika? Yeah, because I. That's where you all explain. One, you might need to be. If some of them just say it's hard slap. That's so, what the parents say. But I just, I just have a lot of challenges with parenting. Is because. <laughs> what five four ministry? What five four ministry? What's that? My, I have a daughter with special needs and two sons without special needs, and it is yeah. extremely difficult. To explain to them at this tender age, listen, I'm not beating your sister for doing this because, you know, she doesn't really understand that this is affecting you in this way, mm -hmm. you know? So sometimes they're like, but you love she more than we, and you know, so on. And it, it, it really pulls at, at you and your emotions too, because you don't want your children to feel that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> And even so with the different, you know, a lot of time persons talk about the eldest sibling or the older sibling being treated from the look, last look, sibling. Look at strange and look at strange and if it up a bit, did Julie? Good night, Julie. We changed over the whole program and, and you you was in the whole set of programs. <laughs> Julie. Good night, Julie, Julie. Julie Mango? Some hey, Ole, somebody's saying on my um on my messenger, guys. Somebody's saying on my messenger, are we going to have a part three? A parenting part three. Somebody's saying if we're gonna have a part three. This part two, yeah. You want a part three? Jesus and ages. All right, eh? The the fine we deal with the present in this show. The ones I hear about the future now. Oh, <laughs> we will focus on the future yeah, if we do that part three. Chica, yes. I ain't heard no part three, you know. Yes. <laughs> but I do not know what the future holds. Maybe we need to hold that in next um fifteen years. Next year, <laughs> next fifteen years. Future, everybody get links on WhatsApp. Facebook might create a belt up. And they will have a belt emoji. <laughs> Actually, they may not. I think that I, for me, I believe that in the future, 
um, some of the parents may be a little bit more permissive. Yeah, uh, true. Or mm-hmm. some of them may decide to take the authoritative approach. And all who say fine, but you know, I, I find something in the Caribbean here, right? In the Caribbean, we don't allow our kids to be creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't like mess and oh gosh, you're messing up yes. my living room, you're messing up the bedroom, and this we, we stifle, yeah. we stifle yeah. the children, and yeah. we need to, to start now letting them be creative, letting them get messy and investigate and all of that. Yeah. You know, we need to include that in our parenting too, because that is what will bring out the innovativeness. Yeah, correct. We clean it up together as a family. We clean it as a family. Yes, they just need to learn how, just as we will teach them conflict resolution, they will learn mm-hmm. how to clean up their own messes. So we will not come yeah, and to... Parents, they can't learn how to do that without you doing it. Persons on the, the, the mix as well. Big up yes. radio Ivy TT. So we're going to play some music and then we're going to come back and the lady's going to get up. We're going to check two minutes. I'm going to check two minutes. The topic is nice. Sure. So, breathe, take a breath, and we're going to come back. Mike, run the track, my boy. So, as I said, you're locked on to Real Talk Live, part two. Parenting, past, present, future with Lion. Chica Jim, Mike the man, Verena, somebody asking for a part tree. What do you think it is? Unless only bringing food or something, we go have a part tree. People are cooking. You know? Hey, so Julie, Julie, I want to say good night to you. Somebody say long time they had the experience. Somebody get our licks with our posy. <laughs> Who is that <laughs> whale on? <laughs> well, I don't have people falling off the chair and all kind of thing. I don't know when they watched that, <laughs> that show from last week. Or week before watching <laughs> 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 Yeah, boy. I said. So we back inside, we back inside, we back inside. So you're giving the ladies two minutes, I say. Yes, he's giving us two minutes. So Marina, right. take your um, 50 seconds because it really won't be exactly two minutes. Two minutes is plenty. <laughs> yeah, uh, so take her 50 yeah. seconds. So. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, we have to we have to get that creativity going. Because you see, look, the pandemic hit us, right? And a lot of people can't survive under the pandemic because they're not able to create and you know, they don't they lack in that kind of creativity. Right? Um our country is in such a way we were depending on oil as our major resource and all of that. But we need to diversify the economy and I think in the future, we need more creative persons to come up and provide solutions. 
You see, when you're creative, you're able to come up with dynamic solutions. And right. we need to encourage that in our homes. Because Listen. we can't depend on the oil. As we see, we can't depend on that. So we need to, yeah. to set up the future generation now to come up with better ideas, more solutions. Innovativeness. You know? Innovative. Mm. Yes, that's what it is we need to do. And it starts from now. Get creative. Go out in the mud. Dig. Make a mud pie. Serve it to the chicken. All them things. <laughs> What? I used to, do, but I used to do all kind of thing when I was small. I used to sit down, knitting thread together, making little thing. I used to be real creative. But I used to make mud pies and scones and feed it to my dollies. Oh. <laughs> Fifty seconds, seconds done. Seconds, Let me hear chica. chica. Come on, so, bring a chica. Uh, what I would like to say to the parents there is that you want to treat your child as an individual do not put your past ones your correct goals on your child if it is they are interested in it no problem but let them be themselves as rena said let them be creative allow them to make some mess yeah. i will add let them learn to clean their own mess Give yep. Yep. right and listen to your child observe your child and really build a strong relationship mm -hmm. a relationship where they feel comfortable if something is wrong Correct. they feel comfortable enough to come to you mm -hmm. yeah and that right. is my and the 50 second is up. Yeah. yeah, so much love to my people on the live. Look now, Julie, you need to be on. Julie is our old school on it. Julie was there <laughs> in the old school and it real talk live. Nice. You know I mean? She needs to return. So big up yourself. So my take we out now. Yeah. So as we say, another powerful show this yeah, evening, she part two. She have a hot mouth. Who's that? She have a real hot mouth, like. Who, who's that? Julie. <laughs> Julie, Julie mouth hot like pepper. You serious? Real pepper, but my <laughs> So guys, it seems like we look at the wrap-up shop now. So you have been listening to Real Talk Live, Parenting, part two. Past, present, future with lion without her teeth. Shika J. Verena. I mean, Mike the man from Radio IRETT, right? Do not forget that we have what you're cooking tomorrow. And in the evening, we have. The effects of COVID-19 on the family, the blueprint, where we will be talking about emotional wellness. And on Sunday, we shall have coming to the stage, as well as aerobics at 7 a.m. Why can I bring me wine? I'm bringing nothing. I understand churches opening back 6 o'clock Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Most importantly, we want to share now is that we're going to have a youth soccer party nice for one. our youth every Friday, starting next Friday, mm -hmm. between 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Nice so if it is looking for something fun for your child to do, for them to get in shape, you know, my sick well, they're always sitting down all day in front of the computer. This is the time to get up, move, and have a nice, nice time. So this will be on Zoom, people. Not Zoom, Google Meet. Google Meet. It will be on Google Meet and it will be private. So you all would need to register for this. Normally we have our free class on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Mike the Winer Boy. Marina Hot and Spicy. Smile, Sweat and Shine, Cheek. Hey, hey, Ice KFC. We have candy. Right, and we have candy scan <laughs> from Tobago running heavy yeah. on a Sunday morning. So if your parents, you all are interested in box basic unconventional raw nutrition because you will need to register your child for that special personal touch. Smile, sweat and shine. Change. Frog line. 
But to be, on, yeah, but to be honest, it's all so smooth. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, I really enjoy the aerobics every Sunday morning now. Nobody pains. Yeah. So we go on, people. Yeah, it's real nice. Catch you later. Somebody say long time yeah. they had the experience. Somebody get a licks with a posy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that <laughs> whale on? <laughs> 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 All of uh, you guys in the outside uh, in the listening line. This is me, Mike the Man, and uh, we want to bring some interesting news for you. We want to welcome a new an addition to Radio Ivy. Her name is Jamika James, our social worker, who is going to be on board with Radio Ivy. We are going to be starting a new series soon. It's called The Effects of COVID on the Family, The Blueprint. So look out for that. This is me, Mike the Man, saying, Welcome, Jamika. Jamesy. <laughs>